The Stories Julian Tells by Anne Cameron Catalog Cats Would you boys like to plant gardens? My father said. Yes, we said. Good, said my father. I'll order a catalog. So it was settled. But afterward, Huey said to me, What's a catalog? A catalog, I said, is where cats come from. It's a big book full of pictures of hundreds and hundreds of cats. And when you open it up, all the cats jump out and start running around. I don't believe you, Huey said. It's true, I said. But why would Dad be sending for that catalog cat book? The cats help with the garden, I said. I don't believe you, Huey said. It's true, I said. You open the catalog and the cats jump out. Then they run outside and work in the garden. White cats dig up the ground with their claws. Black cats brush the ground smooth with their tails. Yellow and brown cats roll on the seeds to push them underground so they can grow. I don't believe you, Huey said. Cats don't act like that. Of course, I said, ordinary cats don't act like that. That's why you have to get them specially, catalog cats. Really? Huey said. Really, I said. I'm going to ask Dad about it, Huey said. You ask Dad about everything, I said. Don't you think it's time you learned something on your own for a change? Huey looked hurt. I do learn things by myself. He said, I wonder when the catalog will come. Soon, I said. The next morning, Huey woke me up. I dreamed about the catalog cats, he said. Only in my dream, the yellow and brown ones were washing the windows and painting the house. You don't suppose they could do that, do you? No, they can't do that, Huey, I said. They don't have a way to hold rags and paintbrushes. I suppose not, Huey said. Every day, Huey asked my father if the catalog had come. Not yet, my father kept saying. He was very pleased that Huey was so interested in the garden. Huey dreamed about the catalog cats again. A whole team of them was carrying a giant squash into the house. One had his teeth around the stem. The others were pushing it with their shoulders and their heads. Do you think that's what they really do, Julian? Huey said. Yes, they do that, I said. Two weeks went by. Well, Huey and Julian, my father said. Today is the big day. The catalog is here. The catalog is here. The catalog is here. The catalog is here, Huey said. He was dancing and twirling around. I was thinking about going someplace else. What's the matter, Julian? My father said. Don't you want to see the catalog? Oh, yes, I want to see it, I said. My father had the catalog under his arm. The three of us sat down on the couch. Open it, Huey said. My father opened the catalog. Inside were bright pictures of flowers and vegetables. The catalog company would send you the seeds and you could grow the flowers and vegetables. Huey started turning the pages faster and faster. Where are the cats? Where are the cats? He kept saying, What cats? My father said. Huey started to cry. My father looked at me. Julian, he said, please tell me what is going on. Huey thought catalogs were books with cats in them. C 
catalog cats, I said. Huey sobbed. Julian told me, special cats, cats that work in gardens. White ones, they dig up the dirt. Black ones, they brush the ground with their tails. Yellow and brown ones, they roll on the seeds. Huey was crying harder than ever. Julian, said my father. Yes, I said. When my father's voice gets loud, mine gets so small I can only whisper. Julian, my father said. Didn't you tell Huey that catalog cats are invisible? N no, I said. Julian told me they jump out of catalogs. He said they jump out and work in gardens. As soon as you get the catalog, they go to work. Well, said my father, that's very ignorant. Julian has never had a garden before in his life. I wouldn't trust a person who has never had a garden in his life to tell me about catalog cats, would you? No, Huey said slowly. He was still crying a little. My father pulled out his handkerchief and gave it to Huey. Now blow your nose and listen to me, my father said. Huey blew his nose and sat up straight on the couch. I sat back and tried to be as small as I could. First of all, said my father, a lot of people have wasted a lot of time trying to see catalog cats. It's a waste of time because catalog cats are the fastest animals alive. No one is as quick as a catalog cat. It may be that they really are visible and that they just move so quickly you can't see them, but you can feel them. When you look for a catalog cat over your right shoulder, you can feel that he is climbing the tree above your left ear. When you turn fast to look at the tree, you can feel that he has jumped out and landed behind your back. And then sometimes you feel all the little hairs on your backbone quiver. That's when you know a catalog cat is laughing at you and telling you that you are wasting your time. Catalog cats love gardens and they love to work in gardens. However, they will only do half the work. If they are in a garden where people don't do any work, the catalog cats will not do any work either. But if they are in a garden where people work hard, all the work will go twice as fast because of the catalog cats. When you were a boy and had a garden, Huey said, did your garden have catalog cats? Yes, my father said. My garden had catalog cats. And were they your friends? Huey said, well, my father said, they like people, but they move too fast to make friends. There's one more thing, my father said. Catalog cats aren't in garden catalogs and no one can order catalog cats. Catalog cats are only around the companies that catalogs come from. You don't order them, you request them. I can write up a request, I said. Huey can do that very well, I'm sure, my father said, if he would like to. Would you like to, Huey? Huey said he would. My father got a piece of paper and pencil and Huey wrote it all down requested one dozen catalog cats all varieties whoever wants to come is welcome
If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe.